Happy May, everybody. Welcome to Shannon Sweets. Glad to see everybody. And I am got some great cards for you this month. Um, this month we are going to use Jar of Love. And this great stamp set is going to be carried over into the new catalog. And it is so super cute. I just love it. Couldn't wait to get it. And I have a sneak peek for you also from the new catalog. Look at this super cute little piggy. So as a bonus for you, any of my customers who want to get involved in this month will get this super cute little present from me. Um, won't be able to get this until June 1st. But if you purchase from me during the month of May, I will make this cute little tag or bookmark, whatever you want to use it for. And um, you will get this super cute little present from me with this cute little piggy stamp. And it is made completely out of new product. I'm going to make it for you and show you all this cute new little product too. So we're going to start here, get started real quick though, making these two cute card products and you will get all the card stock. And um, now I'm going to tell you though, I'm going to send you the card stock um, because right now for the month of May, they are guaranteeing the stamp sets which these stamp sets are being carried over, so you don't have to worry about that. But the um, papers, so all the stamps are being guaranteed till May 22nd. So even if the stamps are on the retired list, they are guaranteed till May 22nd. The framelits um, that are not being carried over are not guaranteed. They're so only being sold as while well, they last. The papers are only guaranteed while supplies last, the ribbons, that sort of stuff. So the papers that I'm showing you are, I believe they're already sold out. But I have quite, I have um, like two packages. So um, unless I just have a flood of customers, which I don't see happening, but <clears throat> if by chance um, these colors I get sold out, you may have to get, um, I may have to send you a different color, but um, I have several packages made up, so, available. Um, <clears throat> so, by that chance. And then, also, the sequence on here is a retired um, sequence. If I, by chance, sell out, I will order some new ones. Um, demonstrators can get the new product from the catalog in May, and there is a new sequence set coming out that is iridescent. So if by chance I run out of this particular frosted sequence, I will order the new um, sequence. Um, but not to worry, you'll still get sequence. So um, there we go. So I'm going to set my cards aside. So for right now, the cards that I'm using, I am using the 2015 2017 which is the off going um, colors but I still had a whole bunch still left so I wanted to use it up you're gonna love the new in colors that are coming out they're very pretty um, that's what I used for the bookmark and I'll show you in a minute So I'm just using my five and a half inch by eight and a half, I mean eight, yeah, that I folded to four and a quarter. And then my white here on this one is four and five and a quarter base. Now, um, I did not take... I got the hello out, but I forgot. I did go ahead just for a little bit of 
something. I took the little fishy that's in here. And I have a little bit of soft sky. And I've already put some tear and tape with my window. And I kind of lined up where my jar is going to be. And I'm going to put my hello kind of towards the bottom. So kind of stuck my thumb where that's going to be. So then I could put my fishy toward the top. Although I think I just stuck him where my lid is probably going to be. Yeah, I think I may have just covered him up. Well, may not get to see him very much. See him a little. I have my scrimp, um, stamp and scrub to clean my stamps off with. It works great. Now, I'm going to take a little bit. I found this easier. I actually did this twice because I wanted to do it in copper, my hello, but it did not work. So I found this easier if you go ahead and glue down first because I wanted the the stamped image on the lid. This is for my bookmark. Um, Now, <clears throat> so Stays on Ink is not going to be in the new catalog. And we used to stamp Stays on on our acetite, on our window pane. But I did this yesterday twice, and I did find that this archival will stamp on this window. You just have to give it a little bit of time to dry. So... And kind of let your ink pad rest on here a minute. So if you line this up, and I want it to line up on my copper lid too. So give it a good press. You know, and let it sit there a good moment. Now, I have to make sure, though, that I'm not taking my, that my glue set. Yeah, this is what I want to make sure of. Um, that I'm not taking my. Wasn't completely set right there. Now, the one thing about archival is it will stain your ink pad. So, which you know, it doesn't matter. I mean. A little stain is no big deal. It still inks perfectly fine. And I'm going to go ahead and do the hello so that it can dry. Let 
tell you what I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and come back to this so that can dry out okay so well actually I can go ahead and tie the ribbon because before I forgot to tie this and I had to tweak it so let's go ahead and tie this ribbon so I don't forget again side Why is it tying a bow? On camera can be the most difficult thing ever. So I'm going to set that side and we're going to go ahead and start this other one. So. Again, this is my eight and a half by five and a half. This is using mint macaron. So the new can catalog did not have the same DSP papers for each color family. They came out with a new, for the new in colors, it does have a DSP that's like a floral DSP, but that's the only color family that has um, a color family. Otherwise, there's a bunch of new DSPs, but not that are color family. Um, there's a ton of DSPs that are gorgeous. Um, and there's a ton of ribbon that are gorgeous. There's a new, um, I'm going to use one of, um, the color block for my bookmark or my tag. And there's a foil one that I just, oh, I gotta have that. It's gorgeous. So this um, paper is matte. The bottom one is four by five and a quarter. Then this little one is one and a half is the white by five and one and a quarter by four and three fourths. So I didn't put any of this stuff on pop dots. We're just going to leave it like that. Now I did take my little jar here and let me do it with my 
stamp set. I'm going to set it aside. Because I need to get the other jar that goes with this. And I went ahead, I didn't want this jar to be overwhelming, so um, put in here a different block. Sometimes you can have too many things out on your desk. So I'm going to have to use my big block, sorry. But I have a lighter gray that I thought would be better. So I did that one that way, and then we will do, this paper color is Flirty Flamingo. And we have the little ribbon to put a little bow. on the front of our and I thought I just kind of like having the markers because I like putting the I think the jar should you know because usually the ribbon like the bow would be going around the whole jar so I thought it would be nice for it to look like that. So I just put like a little layer as if the ribbon was going around the whole jar. Like that. So all right, so this is going to, we'll go ahead and put our jar down. So I put our jar kind of over here at the side. Oh, do you know what? I want to put water. So there's this stamp that you can look like you have water in your jar. Now, so this one here, I stamped it off first, and so you can barely see. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one full strength, though, because I just didn't feel like you could see that hardly. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one full strength. So that way you can see the water better. And then you have stems for your leaves. So I used wasabi for my stems, and now you, there's lots of greens to choose from, so it's up to you. This is where I really need the other. Oh, there it is. There's my other block.
Then, so you have different stems to choose from here. You can even use this big bushy if you want. And then I'm going to choose All right, then for our flowers, we have some two-step stamping to do here. So, I'm going to do, take my flirty flamingo for my big stamp. But I want to stamp off. I'm using shimmer paper because I wanted a little bit of shine but I wanted the bottom one to be lighter so there's our first step so it's lighter and then this is the smaller so I'm going to do it whole and we're going to just put it in the middle so that's our first flower then so this one the die for this is together you can see it right here so it punches out two parts okay now you can if you have the die and the flower then you can stamp it to stamp it first and cut it out but since I'm sending you the pieces which I'm sending you extra I'm gonna stamp it um, separate here because it's I did do it together and it was more difficult because you kind of got to line it up but I'm gonna do mine instead of you can choose to do the same color I'm gonna do mine in this sweet sugar plum I'm gonna stamp off first so I get the lighter color. Sorry, I gotta put my head down here so I can see. And I'm gonna do the other one. Then this is the part for the Here, I'm going to turn these over so I can put, put a dimensional there. I'm going to
and they set them. Tuck that one underneath that one. Okay, now this I used the thanks. And I did that one in Flirty Flamingo. It fits just perfect. And then there is this little stamp. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's like these little swirly. And I took the wasabi and I just put them there is a banner stamp that if you wanted the outlines you could but I just thought they fit perfect didn't have to pull out another stamp set Perfect. And then like I said, I do have extra flowers in case you want more or in case you mess up um, for that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull. This should be nice and dry now. So. Um, this is our foam strips. These are so perfect for shaker cards. Now, <clears throat> you can do, I like to put my shaker parts close to the window. That's up to you. Um, for two reasons because I'm going to use put this stuff on here twice because it gives it a little more stability This, like I said, this just gives it more um, stability close to the card and then away from the card. So, um, I'm sorry, I usually in the past have done all this part up first. These strips are really nice because they don't have, you know, a lot of times you have to put powder on the inside right there. They don't have sticky there. Um, so you don't have to worry about using a powder tool on the inside of your um,
and this the uh, stuff comes off so easy like the the adhesive I guess it actually helps if I put these on the bottom. Not that one. One of those. If you can center straight, it's easier, huh? And this is a good, I don't know, this is like a quarter inch tape. And then I always like to take you can use the Tombow Mono or this, and I always, I like to take a couple of my sequins and put them on the outside too. go there we go all right so that's number well first or second whichever one you want to say I'm gonna put that so those can dry and now we'll do the piggy so this set here is the piggy and I left the little pig out here. Um, this is the little piggy. And um, trying to figure out what I did with my. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you what I did. Um, I put this on Thick Whisper Write. It's not, it's it's okay to, to watercolor on. It does kind of give you, um, I don't know how to describe it. It, it isn't the smoothest of looks. This is one of our water pins. So, um, I just squeezed my pad together, wet it a little bit, and you have to go kind of fast because it, it dries super fast on this paper. Um, you can't blend extremely well it's not watercolor paper we do sell watercolor paper um, so you, this is what I mean it does get a little it dries super super fast and so it's going to be a little blotchy if you use this 
um, thick whisper wide so be you know you're not going to get watercolory you know use the watercolor paper if that's what you're going for I liked this was a pig I didn't really wasn't trying to go for watercolor look on this pig okay so now you can go back here and add a little more because it's the bottom so I kind of wanted it a little bit darker all right so just did him up really quick this is the colors of the new in colors um, so then I just took the markers this is the lemon lime twist and I colored up the grass and then took the bear this is the berry first and I don't want that side, I want this side. Did the flower, I should do the leaf. Then we have this beautiful um, glitter enamel dots and took, let's do this lighter one here, put that in the middle of our flower. Now, so I'm going to take, this paper is um, five and a half. This is the powder pink cardstock. Then this is from the new um, color um, DSP. And look how gorgeous it is. If you didn't see my video where I showed it, it is absolutely. I love. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. And this is. This is like paint swatches. This is my favorite side. Absolutely love it. Um, so it's two and a half inches. This one is by five and a half. And then this one is two. And I'm going to put it in our triple banner punch. And make a punch at the bottom. Pop dots again. Now I'm going to try to reach. This is a punch that, as of two days ago, I believe it was still on the clearance. Thing, so I don't know if it still is. That's where I got it. And this is some chevron. You see the little chevrons in there? So cute. Um, So, and there you go. This is the May Sweet Treat for any customers ordering $25 and above. You will get 
the goodie bag to make these two cards and you will get the free present from me the little gift tag or bookmark whatever you want to call it um, with the sneak peek of the June catalog so I thank you very much for following me through my link for the store will be below please use the hostess code for May which will also be below and on my blog Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.